Mike check, Mike check. What's kicking, family? I'm here, you're there on the other side. I'm glad you clicked in. And I'm checking in with you. This is Mr. Batch, and I've got another one of those 11 new head coaches. Uh, up on the parallel, we've got the St. Louis Rams with Steve Spagnuolo and the St. Louis Rams. Didn't I just say that? St. Louis Rams, Steve Spagnuolo, and the St. Louis Rams. <laughs> football season folks I've taken too many hits to the head over the years all right in 2008 and the St. Louis Rams were 2 and 14 they had a two-headed coaching head monster which didn't help them too much they wound up 2 and 14 anyway uh, this year well let's look at last year last year they were 2 and 14 they had two head coaches they couldn't pull it out and they wound up with that record their stats were as follows uh, total points, they were 30th in the league, 14.4. Uh, total yards, they were 27th at 287.7. Passing yards, they were 26th at 184.2. Rushing yards, they were 103.1 at 25th rank. Oh, uh, man, middle of, you got to get them rushing yards up. You got to get your rushing yards up to help your passing. Because you're passing at uh, 26th rank at 184. You know, what was going on? They had a lot of problems with, uh, with the quarterback days coming off DeLome. Uh, was it DeLome? No, DeLome's over the other way. I'm talking Bulger. <laughs> See, I told you I took too many hits to the head, and if I'm wrong, please correct me. I don't mind. All right. In 2009, Mr. Batch has prognosticated that they're going to go 6-10. and 10. Yes, they're going to make a market improvement with uh, Mr. Spagnolo at the helm. And let's let's run it down. But before I run it down, let me give you their five-year total of wins. They were as follows: eight, six, eight, three. And last year was two wins. That makes a total of twenty-seven wins. They've got no place to go but up and make an improvement. That's why I've got them going six and ten this year. And the wins and losses are as follows: the first two games of the season, the losses at Seattle, at Washington. Then they're at home versus Green Bay, and guess what? They gotta win. Then they go on the road at San Francisco, lose. Home versus Minnesota, lose. On the road, Jacksonville, win. Home, Indianapolis, lose. Road, Detroit, win. Then they got their bye week. So, you know, that's the time they're gonna be licking their wounds, taking their assessment, they take a, uh, a step back. But knowing these football coaches, it's not a step back. It's an extra week of film study for them. Okay, weeks 10 and 11 are losses. Both home games, New Orleans and Arizona, they'll lose. Then they have a home game versus Seattle, and they'll pick up a win on that one. Okay, weeks 13 and 14 at Chicago, at Tennessee, are both losses. They pick up a win at home versus Houston. Now, week 17, 16 and 17, week 16... At Arizona is a loss, and then at home to close out the season against San Francisco, they pick up a win. So, uh, with that being said, hopefully their first round number two pick, Jason Smith, will be able to help them on the offensive line and uh, make it a little bit more solid so that they can get these wins that I have prognosticated for. And for 2009, the... Uh, St. Louis Rams with Steve Spagnola. I've got them going six and ten. Peace.